How's it going guys? We are back on the video here and this video is going to be going over all the X Factor cars in NHL 24, their stats and some of the best ones. So if you guys do make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you have not already and I'm here to tell you guys some of the best ones to potentially look after. Let's hop into the video right now. Starting off with Trevor Zegris here. So Zegris at his highest overall right now is an 83 overall. Uh, it's not a bad card. I mean, it really isn't. 88 speed on him. Mid shot for sure. But again, the good skating. He does have gold skilled up. Uh, at this point in time, he has no silver abilities. I mean, he's only an 83 overall, so it certainly makes sense. But really, Zegras is not looking too great right now, uh, I will say. So Zegras, I mean, that's a, the first X-Factor card. Then we got Haruka Toko. She's an 83 overall, 5'6", left winger, 141. Uh, she's got 86 speed, 86 acceleration, gold close quarters. I mean, honestly... I'm not really that crazy about this card. I mean, 5'6", 141. To be that small and weigh that low, I think you probably you probably would like her to be a little bit faster, right? That, that would be something that I think would be very, very helpful. But uh, unfortunately, Toko uh, is not that. Then we got Nick Suzuki, 5'11", 205, 89 speed, gold, quick draw, 82 face-offs. I know as a Canadian fan, I'm sure all you guys are just lining up to get this card, though. But yeah, for sure, uh, Nick Suzuki is a very good card. Uh, one of the better ones that are in, in this lower range of X-Factors. I mean, again, these ones are, again, going to be tougher to upgrade uh, and tougher to become viable early on, but... Uh, as a Habs fan, you can certainly go ahead and get this. I wouldn't call you crazy for that, but uh, Nick Suzuki uh, is uh, is a decent one. And then kind of similar to the previous ones, Travis Konechny, an 83 overall. They're all kind of similar. That 88 speed, uh, decent shot. Nothing crazy about the shot. Gold, no contest though. Not really a great ability, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, I just don't think it's amazing. I really don't. Uh, but Konechny's a, a strict winger as well. Uh, more so if you're a Flyers fan, you'd probably be going after a card like this. Then you got Clayton Keller. Now, this could be a sneaky good card. 5'10", 178. I know people might be like, oh, he's too small. No, I, I don't believe that. 90 speed and 90 excel, though, and gold elite edges. That card's probably going to be a lot of fun to try out early on as well. And again, to get an 83 overall does not cost much. It costs a couple thousand coins on his base card, which is only an 82 overall. So it won't be too hard to get these X-Factor cards uh, right away at the start. So that's, uh, that's what's really exciting for sure. So uh, I'm a big fan of Keller in real life, and I think this card's going to be sick. Then we got Seth Jones, 83 overall, 6'4", 213 pounds, right-handed defenseman here. He's got gold bouncer, but I got to say, Jones is not looking really too great right now at 83 overall, and he really needs upgrades. He really does. If, if, if this card's going to become very solid to use, he's going to need upgrades. He's going to need them quickly. Then we got Tomas Hurdle. He's 6'3", 215 pounds, left-handed center. Uh, he's mediocre face-offs he's got gold big rig speeds 86 86 acceleration uh it's it's not a bad car hurdle but again most of these 83s are just not really anything crazy at the start they're just not they're decent that keller looks like the best one so far then we got that vince dunn card here he's a six foot 200 pound defenseman again as i've mentioned very similar to the other ones gold seeing eye is what he has uh but again very similar to the other ones just decent skating. No, no one really compares to Keller right now. I think Keller certainly looks to be the best one of these 83 X factors so far. But again, that could always change uh, depending on how, how quickly these guys upgrade. Then we got Rasmus Anderson. Again, they all look the same. 86 speed. Anderson, sorry. And he's got gold seeing eye. Again, very similar to the previous card. Uh, I don't know. Not really much here with Rasmus Anderson. More of your Flames fan. It'd be cool to have him because again... Flames don't have any other X-Factors, right? But that's really about it. I mean, nothing really too crazy about Rasmus Anderson here. Now, Drew Dowdy, who I actually have on my team at an 84 overall, 87 Excel and 87 speed. He's got gold send it. He actually has silver shutdown. Uh, that would be actually decent to have active, I will say. Silver shutdown is a decent one to have active early on. Uh, but yeah, I mean, solid skater, 84 overall. We're into the 84s now. Not bad, but uh, Dowdy's nothing, nothing I'm going to be like, wow, oh my goodness, Dowdy's a must-have, right? Then we got Tim Stutzla from the Senators, six foot, 193 pounds, left-handed center, 84 face-offs, some pretty decent face-offs there. He's got gold elite edges, he's got silver ankle breaker, 
and pretty decent skating at 88 acceleration and 88 speed. So Tim Slitzler looks to be a pretty decent 84. And then next up, we got another 84, and it's Maja Nylon Persan, I wanna say your name is. I'm not sure how to pronounce that very well. Right-handed defense, 5'5", 146. Uh, different X factor for a woman this year, I like that. Gold, 1T. Uh, silver seeing eye. What I do notice early on is that the women have better shots this year, which I think is good. It makes it more viable, especially early on in the year. Uh, I'm a fan of that, a huge fan of that, actually. Uh, so great skating. Uh, honestly, for her, it's not terrible. Just undersized defense. That's going to be tough, but uh, overall, not a terrible card. But then you got Dylan Larkin. I mean, this card's a beast. We, we all know Dylan Larkin, Dex Factor card is always going to be sick. Uh, 6'1, 198. Look at that skating 92 Excel and 92 speed. He's got Silver Relentless. Uh, and he also has gold wheels. We all know how broken gold wheels are going to be on early on in the year for sure. Uh, he's got 83 face-offs. That's not amazing. But in general, the skating is really what makes this card. Plus the gold wheels. I mean, that is just an awesome combo to have early on in the year. We got Jordan Cairo here who you really would think would be faster considering he won the fastest skater competition. But I guess for an 84 overall, it's not terrible. 89 speed on him. Pretty good shot. 85, 84, 85, 84. He's got silver puck on a string, and then he also has gold elite edges. So should be pretty fun to use, like a good skating uh, winger here. I mean, he's, he's not bad, Kairu, 84 overall. Uh, I mean, not, not a, guy, a guy that probably I'd go for, but uh, not a terrible card either. Then you got Johnny Gaudreau on the Blue Jackets, 5'9", 165. 91 Excel, 91 speed though, so he's got the great skating. Uh, he's got the close quarters, which is always nice, and gold elite edges. So really uh, good skating. He's got a pretty good shot. Uh, Gaudreau, I mean, he's he's okay and hot. I feel like his size does kind of end up costing him from being maybe a better car than he would be, but uh, I don't know. He's not uh, not one I'd probably go for, but not, not, not bad either. Now here's Rasmus Dahlin. So right away you'd think like, wow, it's actually underwhelming a little bit, right? He's got 85 speed and 86 Excel. But honestly, Dalene, he will probably get a lot of upgrades if the Sabres are good again this year, you would think. Uh, silver tape of tape, he's got, he's also got gold elite edges. Uh, but honestly, I think Dalene could certainly, certainly be um, a good card. I, I really do. I mean, I really think it could be. So uh, overall, I mean, I, I like Dalene. I do. I think he's solid, but um, I don't know, maybe... Maybe uh, at the start, he's not amazing, but I think his card could be worth it in the long run. I really do. Sebastian Ajo now, 5'10", 186, left-handed center. He's got Thief, so it gives him 83 face-offs. He's got Silver, Snipe. He's got Gold, Quick Draw there. I mean, I, I like Ajo's card, and, and you know the Hurricanes are going to be good. Ajo's going to be getting like 35, 40 goals probably, so Ajo's going to be a good card to have. I mean, there's no, no doubt in my mind. And we're to the 85s now. Kaprizov, 5'10", 202 pounds. And he looks good. I mean, he really does. Shot that's uh, 91, 86, 91, 86. 89 acceleration, 89 speed for Kirill the Thrill. But uh, gold wheels he's got and silver ankle breaker. So Kaprizov will be an awesome card to use as well if you're a wild fan especially. But I think in general Kaprizov is going to be a lot of fun to use this year. And now to 85 point here. 5'11", 180, right-handed center. Uh, he's decent. He's decent. He's got 87 face-offs with the uh, the synergy active uh, he's got silver close cord to unlock that and then gold ensemble four so they're really nice abilities on point honestly it helps him out a lot due to his undersized uh build as well so that's actually pretty nice uh, i would say and he's got 92 excel in speed i mean point that's a good card i know point doesn't usually play well in game but i'm sorry that's a really good card and i honestly would really recommend him to you guys got artemi panarin that picture looks weird because he has, i'm pretty sure uh, at last check panarin's bald but not not 100 certain you guys can clarify that one for me but 89 excel 89 speed uh he's got a decent shot he's got silver ankle breaker gold make it snappy so some decent abilities here uh but really overall panarin six foot 173 not terrible but uh not really a player that i'm like really going crazy over either then we got ovi i mean we all know how good ovi always is the thing is he's always gonna be slow at to start his shot's always gonna be excellent though which it is 89, 91, 89, 90. Uh, he's got that silver truculent, so it could be fun to run around with him. And then he's got gold 1T, I mean, as he should. So gold 1T should be pretty fun to use on Ovechkin. So that's, that's the only thing about Ovechkin. I mean, you know he's got that shot, but the speed could always be kind of an issue for him. Josh Morrissey now you got here too. Six foot, 185. Uh, decent, I mean, silver thunderclap. He's got gold, 1T also. Pretty good skating, 87 Excel, 87 speed. Uh, the pretty good shot there too, 83, 88, 84, and 87. 
Uh, but yeah, I, I like Morrissey. I do. I think Morrissey's a good card for sure. Uh, but yeah, I mean, just an 85. Nothing too crazy about it. He definitely needs some upgrades to really make him really solid, though. We got McAvoy here, too. I mean, the Bruins, I'm surprised he didn't go with Pasternak, but McAvoy will have to do. 6-1, 209, two a defenseman, shooting boost. He's got silver shutdown, too. Gold, stick him up, though. This could be a really good card, though, because McAvoy, you know he'll get upgrades. I like that a lot, that gold stick him up on him. I think that's a really, really good ability combo there. But, uh, yeah, I like McAvoy a lot. We got Mitch Marner here, 85 overall. Six foot, 181, right-handed winger. He's got forward, playmaking forward, defensive boost. He's got silver unstoppable force and gold elite edges there, too. Uh, 89 speed with a 91 acceleration. A decent shot. Uh, he's more of a playmaker though, Marner, anyway. But yeah, he looks good. His hands look really sick, too, there. Uh, 92, 94, 90, 95 passing as well with the synergies. Uh, Roman Yossi, he always gets the X Factor for the Predators, pretty much. 6 1, 201, 88 Excel, 88 speed. Yossi's always a solid defenseman to have. And honestly, this card looks really good. I actually really recommend him to you guys. Silver Shutdown. And he also has Gold Stick Him Up. Great ability combination early on. Huge fan of that. Uh, and his skating's tremendous too. So I, I really like this Roman Yossi card. I really do. Hughes, this card is unbelievable. Unbelievable. 5'10", 180. You might think he's undersized, but that skating is unbelievable. 93 speed and 93 excel, and Quinn Hughes is going to have another excellent year. That is a great card. He's got silvery lead edges. He also has gold seeing eye. But really, this card looks so, so good. I honestly really want to get this card on my team. He looks absolutely phenomenal. Quinn Hughes to Jack Hughes. I, this is a card that I need as well. No bias. This card is really good. But uh, 5'11", 175. He's got plenty making forward. He's got defensive boost. Give him a uh, silver puck and a string. And then gold wheels on Hughes here too. Uh, 92 acceleration and 91 speed. So uh, he looks to be a very, very fun card to use. I mean, I'm very much so looking forward to trying to get this card. Then you got Jack Eichel. Eichel, this card looks sick. I would definitely like to get Eichel. I'm getting my hands on Eichel. 6'2", 207, right-handed. I got that great size. Silver make it snappy. Gold elite edges. 89 excel. 90 speed on Eichel. Good shot, too. 86, 87, 87, 87. So... Uh, even 83 face toss is not terrible on Eichel, but Eichel in general, absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal card. Then we got Sid the Kid here. He's also an 85 X Factor, 5'11", 200 pounds, playmaking forward, agile dangler boost. Then he's got silver beauty backhand and then gold unsolvable force. That'll really help Crosby out the unsolvable force. It's really, really accurate though. I mean, it's really hard to knock him off the puck. So uh, I really like that actually a lot. I do. I think it's a really good combination of abilities for him. The speed, not amazing for Crosby, but uh, in general, it's Crosby. He'll, he'll play well in game. I, I like Crosby. 87 face-offs too. That's really, really good. Then he got uh, Dispians. I don't, really don't know how to pronounce her name that well, but she's 5'9", 161. As a goaltender, it's tough. I won't lie. She's got silver dialed in and gold contortionist. No offense to her, but a 5-9 goalie doesn't matter. Uh, it's just, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to make her very good in game, but who knows? Maybe the small goals will be meta this year, which would be a shock, but I guess you never know. Oh, yeah, Sorokin. Sorokin could be an interesting one here. You know he's going to get plenty of upgrades. 86 overall here, 6-3, 195. He's got silver post-to-post -post, and then gold sponge. So good abilities on Sorokin, but I would say he's one that... I'm not sure. I mean, it depends. I mean, 6'3 is not bad. You're pushing it. You probably want to be 6'4 or above for a goalie, but he could be good, Sorokin. Jason Robertson at 86 overall here. He's got sniper forward, and he also has shooting boost. You'd love a speed boost on him, but 87 excel and 86 speed. His shot's insane, though, so that's the good news about him, at least. Uh, he only got 81 endurance, so that's kind of rough on him, but... Uh, 95, 91, 96, 91 for that shot. I mean, damn, they are really respecting his shot at least, which is really good. But uh, in general, Robertson, uh, his speed could kind of hurt him in the end. But other than that, he's a very, very good player. We got Poulin at 86 overall, 5'6", 161 here. Uh, she's got silver close quarters, gold unstoppable force on her card here. 88 speed, 90 excel, not as fast uh, as last year, I believe. I feel like she was faster last year. I could be wrong, but... Uh, she looks like an excellent card still. 87 face-offs. I know a lot of people liked using her card last year, but uh, yeah, the Golden Salvo boards and Silver Close Quarters, it's a pretty good card. Matthew Kachuk here, 6 2, 201 here. He's got power forward and he also has accelerator boost. So his acceleration does get boosted up there. He's got 88 Excel with 86 speed. He's got silver, big tipper, and then gold close quarters. I mean, 
not awful abilities on him, really, they're not, but uh, it's just his speed always kind of holds Kachuk back, which I, I get it, he's not the fastest player in the world in the in real life, but uh, in general, guys, I mean, Kachuk's uh, not the greatest X-Factor, usually. And then I think it goes without saying, Connor McDavid's X-Factor is the best X-Factor in the game. 87 overall, playmaking forward, he's got the shooting boost also, silver unstoppable force, and then he's got that classic gold wheels. Just so, so good, McDavid. The skating of 94 Excel and 94 Speed, the shot being 90, 85, 91, and 87. I mean, just so, so good. 83 face-offs on him, but we all know how good X-Factor McDavid is. Just incredible to use in this game. I really need to get that early on. Also, I have another 87, and it's Kale McCarr, the cover boy, as it should be. He's an offensive defenseman and the shooting boost. 94 acceleration and 94 speed. He's got 87, 90, 89, and 89 for the shot. Silver heat seeker, along with gold elite edges. Usually, I think that's kind of the same combo for him. Elite edges kind of for his gold ability, which makes sense. He is a tremendous skater, but McCarr is just absolutely phenomenal. Always huge fan of his card, and one of the best ones you can get. And then how about Hillary Knight? This card looks amazing, actually. 5'11", 172, right-handed, power forward, and the shooting boost. I mean, again, they really upgraded the woman's shots, it looks like, this year. Her shot, look at that, 92, 92, 91, and 90 at 87 overall. That is incredible. And she's 5'11", so she's not too small either. Silver wheels, too, along with gold unstoppable force. This could be an excellent card to use, and a card that I really want to potentially get. I really, really do. This looks absolutely phenomenal. And we also got 87, Jenny Hurakovsky at 5'5", 137, left-handed defense. She's got silver shutdown and gold truculence. So that could be pretty decent as well. A decent shot, good skating at 91 and 91 for the Excel and speed. But honestly, Hurakovsky, uh, she played well last year. I think she had like a master set player item as well. Uh, I think Hurakovsky is certainly a good X-Factor card. Uh, and I think that pretty much rounds out all the X-Factors in NHL 24. So for me guys, pretty much, I really like a lot of these X-Factor cards. The ones that I really would say are really important to try to go after is McDavid, Quinn Hughes I like a lot. Uh, there's plenty of good ones. Makar, obviously. I go after the Hillary Knight as well. I think those are excellent, excellent cards. I like Eichel a lot too. So, I mean, there's there's a lot of great card options early on when it comes to X-Factors. I would say not to have too many on your team. Just try to have a few because it does get expensive to upgrade all of them. But as always, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Hope I helped some of you guys out with some question marks you have with uh, your X-Factor choice packs. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you have not already. And as always, guys, I'll see you all in the next one.